Hi everyone, I'm Overlander Benny. Welcome to the channel. And today I'm going to show you my do it yourself solar generator versus my Yeti 400. This was $400, this was $200. And I'm going to explain the differences and how I did it. So let's get started. So this is my goal zero. Yeti 400 and if anybody has done any research on solar generators or knows much about them you usually pay about a dollar per watt so 400 watts four hundred dollars it has one cigarette lighter two USB ports a 300 watt max 110 volt there's a display and the input. You also have a daisy chaining port over here. And the one bad thing is all of these connections must come from Yeti. So I can't find them anywhere else. It's a decent product and I do enjoy it. But it is 33 amp hours of power. Now I'm going to show you my $200, 800-watt, do-it-yourself solar generator. This cost me less than $200. Come on. How can you not do this? I started by buying this Plano box. I got it from Walmart. It was $15. My battery did not sit in it with it laying flat as this in the top. So I put two small blocks underneath so I could stand it on end. These clips go either direction and since I couldn't get it in here, get my finger in there to open it, I flopped them around. Inside I have a Walmart battery. This was $99. Has 114 amp hours of power. 33 amp hours. 114 amp hours. I put two handles on it. These are just Stanley handles you can get at Walmart or Home Depot Very cheap Probably four dollars for those two This is my solar panel solar controller Right now I have it plugged into my truck. There's 50 watts of solar power going in there You can see the battery is charged very well I ran my fridge on it all day yesterday and it gained on it all day with 50 watts. Granted it is sunny today. Here we have two USB ports. I have it directly wired into my battery. I'll show you that in a second. Right here we could plug in lights that come with it or right here. This is a Harbor Freight solar kit. Comes with this controller. The kit I got on sale for $150. And I really like it. I'm only using half of it right now on my truck. I also have another set. Because I've bought in two. And it's waiting to go on my trailer. We have a Stanley 800 watt inverter. It has two 110 outlets, same as the Yeti, and a USB port as well, and an on and off switch. I don't know if we can see that with the sun.
I do like that I can shut that off so the inverter draws zero power when it's not being used. It does take power to invert. I added these dual cigarette lighters. That's just a rubber cover. These are just screws I had in my garage. One cigarette lighter, two. Two USB ports, three USB ports. Two 110 outlets, two 110 outlets. I come around here and I was running my fridge off of this right here, this cigarette lighter plug-in. So I had to have it on a 15 amp fuse. I bought this fuse box off of Amazon for $15. Unfortunately, I had another one that I liked better that once I find it, I will use it. And the reason I like it better is because it just has blades right here instead of screws. So you could just plug in whatever you wanted. I wanted to keep this portable so I don't want to have wires hanging off there really. I ran my fuse box wires through the back up top and this wire here and here go to my 12 volt outlet. Inside the solar panel controller comes with these so I cut these off again I have two controllers so this is for my other one I cut these off and I ran them straight in on this side and just put wing wire nuts on there so they can just be a good connection I also cut these come with the same thing, these kind of clips, they're a little more heavy duty. I cut those off and put my own ends on. You wouldn't need to do that, you could just clip it on the battery posts or whatever you needed to do. This I wired in directly as well, as you can see. Okay, hopefully you can see this, but inside of here, I had to cut a little rail off because the box obviously is not made. Here's the one that's still intact. And I cut that off of both sides because the battery was just a little too wide to fit. Top and bottom didn't really matter, so I left it. But it had a little plastic divider that divided the box into four sections when I bought it. Didn't need that. Took it out cut those off so I can slide my battery in. This is a sealed box, but I drilled some holes in it. Obviously I want some ventilation with a battery in it. And it's not gonna be outside. I don't want my inverter to get terribly wet. So I won't be putting it outside very much. Okay, I've slid the battery back in now. As you can see, it looks like it's tilted a little here, but the reality of it is this is level and this is level. The sides of the box do slope a little bit, but when I put these down here, that makes this bottom level, which is where the battery sits and it will sit level as well that way. I'm not too worried about that. It's just an aesthetics thing. These are very cheap latches, but they're effective, they do work. And again, they're reversible if you wanted to put them on to clip from the other way. So here it is all back together. And when I'm ready to go, I pull that out, grab my two handles, and away I go. If 
I want to put it in my trailer, I have the same controller, same plug-in, plugs in the same spot, just as it does in the back of my truck. Same controller. This is actually the solar panels that are on my truck. I plug it in here and I can hook these to say an extra battery or whatever else. That makes this a portable solar generator with 800 watts of power and 114 amp hours. This 400 watt with 33 amp hours. $200, $400. In case I forgot to mention it, I did get this inverter on sale at Fred Meyer for $35. You will be hard pressed to find that I'm guessing, but they have lots of inverters at Walmart or Fred Meyer or anywhere. You can make this a thousand watt. You can make this whatever inverter you could find. So take a look around and see what you could find. You might spend a little more on an inverter, make it a $300 one. You're still saving a ton of money. Hope you like it. Don't forget to push that thumbs up and subscribe for more to come. Thank you for watching.